She's the Nanatsu A's doctor and a Class A jumper like Akito and Yurika. Everyone thought she died in an accident, but here she was in the Universal Century Dimension. She made a parallel bosun jump to an alternate reality. Why do I suddenly feel so uneasy? And we are back. So, quick bit of business before we start the stream. Something I forgot to bring up the last time, and muted was had muted myself when I said the time before that. I will be at Fort Virtual Gaming Expo and Kamorakon this year. Um, I am not paneling or anything like that, but I will be present, and that. So the button counts, so if you see me at those conventions, say hello. I do realize the fact that by the time this edited version of this goes up, um, the con will be over, but hey, I'll probably be at the next year's Fort Virtual Gaming Expo as well. Um, the mortars. Kill count. Lose clothes. Koji, Hertz, Ruta, Banjo, and Kepi. You two are going to. Hertz and Koji are going to ace. Um. Three points. Let's get lower level characters leveled up. And then fill the spots. Alright. Okay. It is my another album. Nice. Before I forget, um You don't have proud ace, let's rectify that. Which means now you're an ace too, so let's get your ace dialogue cutscenes real quick before we get started. Congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Kurtz. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. Thanks, Nine. It's nice of you to pull all of this on me. I know it doesn't make us even, but if you want to know anything, I'll tell you all about it. Well, there is, but. It's about men and women, isn't it? It's okay. I've heard from a lot of people that you're very interested in relationships. Yes, but not from your lecherous perspective. Oh, come on, is that what you think of me? They call me the love sniper for a reason. I know all there is to know about love and then some. What I want to know is about romantic love. Specifically, I have no interest in flirting. If you keep pushing your luck like you are right now, I think I'll report you to Captain Tessarosa and Lieutenant Clouseau. Understand? All right, all right, they all, well, anything but that. Actually, who you really don't want to do is re report this to, um, Lieutenant Mao. Now that's more like it. Now, instead of love, why don't you tell me who you really like most and why? Oh, it's so hard to choose, though. I like so many women. Could it be her? Her? Maybe. Hmm. I think this conversation might be a waste of our time. Nothing you say will help me with my research. <laughs> Congratulations on becoming an ace pilot, Koji. I'm sure you worked very hard to get to this point. Thanks, Nine. I didn't get this far on my own. I'm only strong because I'm lucky to have the Mazinger Z right by my side. Truly, the Mazinger Z has the power to do anything. I wonder if it could let you become Sayaka's lover if you so desired. What? That came out of nowhere! Well, what do you think? Do you think it could do it? Uh, 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 uh you know what, Nine? I just... Remember that I forgot to do some major maintenance on the Mazinger Z. I'm sorry I have to bail on you. I, I think we'll have to bail on you. I'm sorry, Nine. Let's, let's celebrate again some uh, other time. Wait, Koji, you didn't end... Hmm. What an interesting reaction to my question. 
Maybe it means he loves the amazing cuisine more than Sayaka, or he's just really shy of the, the topic at hand. Alright. Okay. We have that. Also, two more aces and a new envelope. We'll quickly save again. Before we start the new mission. Audrey! I never told you the truth about myself, did I? I wanted to hear the truth from you. You've already fulfilled Minerva Saba's, Saba's duty, so I knew before too long you'd bear that name again. Thank you, Banneker. Now I can tell you everything. About me, about the plot, and about Inez Frisange. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is one of the bits I, I love from Nuts Go. <laughs> what is this? They said they explained everything on board the Nandisco, but what are these decorations? This is Nandisco what and why? I believe your the proper title is the how and why of Nandisco. You know about this, Titra? This is the Apparently, they carry out briefings aboard the Nondisco, apparently. It's my first time seeing it for myself. It's not really that big a deal. I love, I love Akito just delivering, like, the fact that we haven't changed his character design. He still has this dark, brooding, and gloomy look about him. It, it makes his reactions, and, and, and this somber, serious face, it makes his reactions to all this lunacy all the more hilarious. It, it makes him truly the comic comedically serious for all this wacky stuff is going on and Akira's reaction is just sit there stone faced like yeah yeah y'all think this is crazy and insane and off its worker but this is this is this is all completely normal fine everything is fine well it's about time for the explanation ladies to show up I bet they've really put their hearts into it. Oh, it looks like it's starting. Hey guys! Sorry. That is a bit too uh, enthusiastic for Rui. Hey guys, it's time for not just go what and why. What and why? Oh hey, it's been a while, huh? Yeah. Really tough to play the rabbit without the costume, you know? You two are so tense. You can't get all shy at a time like this. Sorry, a lot's been going on. Yes, I know, refined of beauty is important, Captain, but you shouldn't push so hard. We're doing it? Let's get started. Take care, everyone. I'm not happy about this. Um. Uh. Well, then, it looks like she totally misread the room. It sure does! Alright, then, it's nice to meet some of you, and nice to see you again for others. I'm Inez for Change. Well, then, let me explain things. There it is! The motto of doom! Feels like their opening is missing something. It is, you were a Class A jumper. I thought the Mars successors had you killed. That's half true, half misunderstanding. On the orders of Captain Akasuki of Nergal, I've been searching for the lost Nanda shell and in particular the calculation unit. As everyone knows, that was part of the fight with the Martian successors. For anyone hoping to manage bosun jumps, that calculation unit would be key, something they definitely want to control. And after a great deal of difficulty, the Nurgle research team found a Nondisco, but just then, the Martian successors attacked. And my companions fell one by one and prepared to post and jump for my life. But this time it ended up completely different from the ones I usually made. Parallel post and jump. Post and jump is a simultaneous movement in time and space, going back to the past and returning to the present. When you come into contact with the past, that can affect the present mode you return to, which could create a time paradox. If contact with the future changes history, typically this would only create results in the alternate universe, presenting paradox, as implied by some of the theories related to quantum mechanics, which you may be familiar with if you watched a particular episode of Star Trek The Next Generation. 
However, a bosun jump apparently makes it possible. Um, I, I don't get it. Grandfather Paradox Explanation. So I go back before my birth and kill my mother. Right then, I create a world without my mother and thus without myself. And in that moment, I become no longer, I'm no longer a part of that universe and must be a part of another one. Even if I tried to return to that universe, I could never go back to a place. How could I go back to a place that I was never born? I have to go back to the universe where I exist, where that branching off never occurred. If that weren't so, your existing before your mother died, before you were born, would create a parent, a paradox. But anyway, the time travel involved in the bosun jump allows that kind of paradox. What I don't want to, I want to find out what would happen in that situation. But I don't really want to find out what would happen to someone in that mom killing situation we were just talking about. And so, what does this lengthy explanation have to do with your parallel bosun jump? So, bosun jumps allow time paradox to occur. It's a natural element of the system, is why the ancient Martian civilization that developed bosun jumping is for spatial travel. Basically, we, we guess they had some process to intentionally prevent sliding into parallel worlds. But it, uh, put another way, you remove that process, you can use it to travel to parallel universes. I was afraid my explanation would run rather long, so thank you for speeding things up. Presumably, also, something like Boson Jump, like the, the Boson Jump technology, could also be used to send information back in time to alternate universes or creating alternate universes, creating the existence of, for example, the Whispered. But I don't know if they're going to use this as an explanation for the Whispered in this series. I, the Nodisco, and the Calculation Unit broke through the dimensional barriers and, so and were suddenly on this fractured axis. I see, but we switched places. It appears so. Clearly the Psycho Frame's expanded consciousness came into contact with the Calculation Unit. I'm thinking about that at the same time. Or while jumping at that same time, it got confused and the two of us switched places in the parallel boson jump. Is that even possible? Theory always is just reality. Let's look at reality and try to explain it. And now we change music. As another person hops in. You met her while recovering those parts of Axis pushed away from Earth. I don't know who you are, by the way. Oh, thank you. Now explain yourself. I'm Nanai Miguel. I'm the leader here at the Plus. Plus. You were close to Shara's novel, where you were director of the new type of the Neo Zeon New Type Research Institute. That's so? Why are you hitting up a group like this? To explain that, I have first to tell you more about Shara's novel. The reason he tried to drop access to Earth was not to exterminate the entire Earthling population. Although clearly that was a side of that would be a side effect. It was to reunite the colonies of Earth and bring about the end of war. By killing everyone on Earth. Char, there were problems to your plan if that was your intent. For that, he took on the grave sin of murdering our home planet. Out of pure ego, no one, not him, not anyone, could have believed that it, that would work. Thank you for thank you, Emerald, for being the one who will always call Shar on his bullshit. Heroism and ambition, despair and hope, and in his rivalry with Amaro, it is really something he'd do. I mean, it's ex it's established in Shar's counterattack that he helped develop the Psychoframe technology, specific and leaked that to the Earth Federation, specifically to bring about a rematch with Amaro. People lost their lives for that. Indeed, you are not wrong. Hathaway has an extra, extra ma significant reason to be pissed about this because if Char hadn't done this plan, while well, yes, he might not have met Kess, Kess also wouldn't be dead. Back to his heart, Commander Char agonized over this choice but hoped to realize human potential. But he's still kind of a dick. What's that supposed to mean? Commander hoped, even as he and Amara Ray failed to reconcile, that with the Axis Shock, all people could be joined in peace. That's kind of a gamble expecting the Axis Shock to have that effect, considering that nobody knew that Axis Shock could happen at the time! Through the revelation of the Psychoframe, I perceived the Commander's final hope. And so, I searched for another way to bring end to war. Hopefully not through mass murder! 
either side were to finally win, that might end this war, but it would also bring about new hatred. We hope to get a different future than that. In a weird way, we kind of see an example of this in the uh, New Correct Century timeline with the Jupiter Empire, because theoretically that what they came about after Axis Shock. Um, you had lots of DOZ on and other people going further and further out to like Jupiter. Um, the Jupiter Empire rising out of that. So it, it's it's not a reasonable guess to make. Audrey? And to that end, I am in contact with Her Highness, petitioning for a ceasefire. Sadly, her way of thinking is rare in the military ruled, military ruled Neo Zeon of today. Funny how that works with military dictatorships, with, with fascist military dictatorships. However, with the colony's help and silent sympathizers, we can't be ignored. The war has gone on too long. Pardon. The war has gone on too long. Of course, there are still those who carry hate from the One Year War and the Federation's action before it. And there are those who carry hate from the One Year War and the Neo Zeon's actions during it. Asking them to just forget might sound futile, but if they don't do so, I believe humanity will have no future. The place was formed in secret, but once Her Highness joined, we started to grow beyond all our hopes. So we are explicitly actually carrying, covering up, or painting over the revelation of Laplace's box from um, uh, Unicorn, where the revelation of in Gundam Unicorn was um, that the originally planned Earth Federation Charter slash Constitution um, explicitly contained recognition and acknowledgement that of the possible future existence of new types and to give them an important role in government and in society and make sure their rights are preserved for the future. Um, whereas here the place is uh, apparently a secret organization working to bring about a peaceful resolution to the one here to the uh, Neo Zeon Federation conflict. There's still, there are a lot of folks like me who are tired of war. Zinderman? My family was slaughtered by the Federation, and I fought hard to avenge them. I took my revenge in unspeakable ways. See how inhuman I had become. But nothing filled, but nothing filled that hole. I started with my desire to kill. Unsure if I should slog on to my death like that. Then I met Meridian. I was living as Play 12, having lost everything else. I thought she could... She should join my quest for revenge, but then it suddenly seemed so pointless. The last straw was a battle in Dakar. When I saw Mahdi's daughter devoured by hate, I thought of Meridia in her place and couldn't fight. You mean Lonnie? Then I met someone like me, and Meridia saved. I had to join them here at the place. What? Who else did she save? You all know him too. He would like to greet you himself. He's on his way. Good to see you all again. Alberto! Imagine meeting the head of Anaheim Electronics in a place like this. It's precisely because of my place at Anaheim that I've been touching the place. What do you mean? Anaheim's up cooperation with both Neo Zeon, with Zeon and the Federation helping to prolong the war. But that's all falling apart now. All because Leonard Testarossa has seized control of Amalgam. Wait, how is Amalgam involved in this? As I assumed, Anaheim Electronics was part of Amalgam all along. Exactly. As the head of Amalgam, Leonard is... And the head of Amalgam, Leonard, has cut ties to the Federation and joined Neo Zeon. Now it looks like Anaheim's been pushed out of Amalgam. Why would he do that? With Anaheim's size and influence, it seems like that would be a huge loss. I'm not sure exactly, but Amalgam believes it can, clearly believes it can operate even without our support. Angered by Eller's decision, Anaheim has joined the Federation and hopes to annihilate, annihilate Zeon. That's a huge undertaking, even for revenge. If they mess up, it'll only accelerate the war. Even with Anaheim's help, though, the Federation's totally outclassed. So does Anaheim have something special planned? I'm not kept that much in the loop. Nice to have someone a bit more in the know join us. Yeah, but thanks to Alberto, we got a beat on Anaheim, so we should show some gratitude. 
I am only following my cautions, and well, perhaps it's a mistake. But there's someone who says even a person like me is needed. That's Meridia, isn't it? Yes, and also, Camille Bidon asked me to come. Camille did what? Well, well, Anaheim had a connection with the AEUG. I was able to contact Ebata through Wong, who's right at the heart of Anaheim. Wong was, um, helping build and supply mobile suits to the EEG and help with the manufacture of the Zeta. Wong, you mean Wong Lee? Yes, I was in recovery on Earth. He and his sister came to visit me a lot. That was also on Commander Shar's wishes. Zoom, because Commander Shar got to know Wong Lee when Commander Shar was Quattro Pijina during... Uh, the AE, during the whole Titan situation. Apparently, he was really worried after what happened to me in the Drips conflict. But the commander said, always said he could never show his face to Camille. And so, as I hope to fulfill his dying wish in another way, I asked Camille to join us here at the place. In my heart of hearts, I can never fulfill, sh forgive Shara's novel for what he tried to do. But for me, it's not Shara's goal I'm after, but the piece that led Commander Quattro to fight against Neo Zeon. That's what pushes me on. And that's why you that's why you returned to the battlefield. Okay, I'm hearing a lot of fine talk, but how exactly are are you going to end this war? Why can't we take out Neo Zeon's top dot top guy, like back in Hamon and Shar's day? I mean We took out Ham and Karn. These days, that would be full frontal. Cut off the head, the war should end right there. Our goal goes beyond that. Ending the war in a single stroke will only lead to it happening again. It won't solve the fundamental problems we face. It makes sense. Taking out the Neo Zeon, taking out Zeon's high command at the end of the One Year War, led to the rise of Neo Zeon, led commanded by Hammond, killing her, led to Shar taking over, taking the reins, killing Shar, led to Full Frontal taking the reins. And even Minerva's not able, not able to, to drive this thing anymore. It's, it would be like, it's like trying to kill a Hydra with just a sword. Not a sword to torch, like how Hercules did it, like cauterizing the wounds afterward, but just a sword. So, this makes sense. Unfortunately, we have been unable to find the real solution ourselves. This is why we've contacted you all. Not Neo Zeon, not the Federation, but you. Are you saying we take down both Neo Zeon and the Federation? Do you think that's best, Judo? Of course not! That's the kind of craziness Shar Hammond would have tried. You are just as Hammond described you. You were close to her? When I was on Axis, Hammond taught me so much. And when I returned to Earth Sphere, she retained being one of my few friends. Apparently, the Minerva Zabi's uh, body double, or Let's drop the the there. Apparently, Minerva Zabi's body double was part of Haman's plan to protect the real Minerva. The body double in question was found during the, on Axis during the climax of Gundam Double Zeta. And that's why, on her death, Haman Karn passed control of the colony laser to her highness. Now, um, in Unicorn, the colony laser is actually bring in the mic, it's got itch on my face, was under control of the Earth Federation and operating out of a uh, mountain compound on Earth. I believe it was meant to be basically the old NORAD location, except even more firmly entrenched. So Hammond set all that up. While she was serving as a mentor, Neo Zeon was on the verge of falling apart from within. You mean, Glemmy's insurrection. Glemmy Toto, the second antagonist of Gundam Double Zeta. Glemitoto was also responsible for the Play project. Yes, in order to suppress it, Hammond had the colony laser repaired after it was damaged in the Grips conflict. Since it was never used, now, in the end it was never used since Hammond and Glemmy felt both fell in battle and Commander Shar went on to reorganize Neo Zeon. Since the control of Neo Zeon passed from Commander Shar to Full Frontal, the chief faction Neo Zeon is currently unaware of the colony laser. First I knew of it was when Hammond and Hammond entrusted it to me around the time I joined the place. We'll keep it as a final deterrent, in case it looks like Neo Zeon might actually destroy Earth. 
the space war, the colony laser, could certainly turn the tide of battle. That's actually why um, the climax of uh, Zeta has um, the A AEUG trying to get and keep control of the colony laser. If we used it, couldn't we take Xeon head on? No way, we can't use it like that. If we did, the war became a quagmire, inescapable. I know, I know, just a thought. Indeed, you are just the people we should entrust with our power. You got in touch with us knowing you needed to check out your partners. We didn't decide on you right away. We also considered contacting someone in the Earth Federation government to oppose Neo Zeon. That's why you were coordinating with Ensign Riddy. However, Councilman Marcenas tried to use me as a tool in his negotiations with Zeon. Ronan Marcenas, huh? He's chairman of the Kazuman Issues Council. Got a lot of clout with Federation forces. You are all different from them. You believe this war to end believe the way to end this war without simply destroying your enemy. You leave the colony laser and calculation unit with you. However, you use it as the power to end this war. Are you sure that's okay? You all have shown your true intentions. I've seen it with my own eyes. I trust you. Please, use this power not for victory or defeat, and simply destroy Neo Zeon of the Federation, but to find the path to peace. We understand. We'll take it. Thanks for nice help. We've designed a solid system to contact the Coronation Unit via the Cycle Frame. No more research, we should be able to use it to voluntarily jump to parallel worlds. Mean it? We could go home? Home! We might actually go home! I could be on my way to Iskandar again! Neo Zeon is quite a bit ahead in, of in Psychoframe research, though. Above all, we have the key calculation unit in our hands, which means we have a huge, a huge advantage of research materials, with the Martian successors having obtained a, Vic, a, new, um, a new Gundam. What's more, we have the cooperation of a Class A jumper. Adding to which, she's also our researcher. Pop already, it's all a bit early to relax. Before I share my recent results with you, the Yamato. The Yamato. There's no need to say any more. We'll use all our power to help bring this dimension's war to an end. Missed the, missed the line there. We won't do it for any war. We won't do it for any reward, but because people living here and now in this world, we wish to fight for peace. Thank you, Commander Okita. Power beyond that of the Federation and Neo Zeon, and gathered here, people from three different dimensions. Something big is going to happen. That will be the true test of human potential. Aha! And there's the calculation unit. <clears throat> As hard as the Marsan successors in Nergal were looking, they never found the calculation unit. Who would have thought it was in another dimension? Even if there had been well, no problem with the potion jump, the idea they could penetrate through dimensional walls and pick up a jumper's thoughts is incredible. But well, this means that potion jumping will become a tool of war. But it's, got, but it's not a weapon to use against enemies. It's got a power to end the war. Akito, are you sure? It's optimistic, but I want to believe it. I want to end the fighting, and quickly. You're right. And after that, I know Boson Jumping will help to bring out humanity's true potential. And I have the power to connect to three dimensions. AD, New Correct Century, and the Universal Century. See, so you've been through a lot too, haven't you? Yeah. The judo stopped Play 2 and me from fighting, and he rescued me from battle. He is the reason Play 2 and I are standing here right now. And we're with you too, Meridia. Play, Play 2, you're both right. You can call me Big Sis, you know. Oh, um, well. That'd be weird, considering that I look older than you! 
And the reason your character designs look younger is because in our original series, both of you died. Never mind her, even I still call her Play. Anyway, Meridia isn't Play 12 anymore. Yeah. All right then, let's all go get ice cream. Let's go. Play, 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 play. Okay. Don't worry about it, Meridia. Just be yourself. Thanks. That might be the first time I've seen your smile. True. The first time I've seen yourself carefree. It was worth coming to Laplace for that alone. Now that's something new, seeing this grumpy old war force get all wistful over a smiling girl. But it's a good thing. It was Meridia who saved me, after I strayed so far off the path of humanity. You saved me too. I never met her. I would certainly still be working to draw out this endless war. We will meet, fates change. Life certainly is an interesting thing. Meridia was a victim of war. She's had a very sad life. Yeah. People have to change that no one else will have to live like her. I'm part of that problem. Amaro. You must know. I'm the one who killed your father. Yes. It was war. You need not carry the blame. You say it feels like redemption. Believe what you said. And I will support you, despite what Shar did. Me too, Audrey. Thank you, Commander Amaro. And you, Banneker. Oh, well, Audrey, about the name of this organization. A place. Well... That's gonna have to wait. Enemies sighted. Most likely Neo Zeon. It was a time when full frontal tolerated the place in existence. Whatever for? He probably thought it unimportant, but now the influence of Londo Bell has changed things. If he's found out about the colony laser, he'd have to try and take it. Is the colony laser okay? Better for it, part of the place's forces are on that side. It won't be easy to take. Alright then. If that's so, then let's protect Axis. Camille, don't use your re GZ. What? I've got your Zeta. I reckon the Zeta suits you better. All right then, Camille. Let me and you make a triple Zeta. Uh. Oh, Camille. Oh, Camille. Thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the show, please like and subscribe. And also consider backing my Patreon. Patreon backers get episodes up to one week early of this show and any future Let's Plays. Also, please consider backing my coffee. Uh, toss me a few bucks, also helps support the show, and it's not a monthly obligation or anything like that.